Hello, and welcome to Wild McLean's series of Tech Tip videos. I'm Brian, and today we will be discussing our AccuTemp controller for our Aqua Plus and Aqua Pro indirect water tanks. The AccuTemp utilizes microcontroller-based design to control water temperature in our domestic hot water tanks. An advanced software algorithm closely monitors the rate of tank temperature change and controls the heating source to minimize fluctuations in tank temperature while optimizing fuel efficiency. The control features adjustable temperature settings for both residential and commercial temperature operating ranges. First, we will look at the operation of the control. It features a display screen that will show the target temperature for the tank, will show if the sensor is out of range, will show Fahrenheit or Celsius, residential or commercial, and will indicate if the hardware or software has failed in the control. It also indicates if the control is calling for heat or in standby. Looking at the control, you can see the only indication is the small green dot at the bottom. If we depress the knob, the temperature setting will be displayed. This is our target temperature, not the actual temperature of the water. We can adjust this between 60 and 160 degrees when set as a residential control, and 60 to 180 degrees when set as a commercial control. To choose residential or commercial operation, remove power from the control, push and hold the setting dial while restoring power. R or C will blink in the display. Release the dial, turn to R or C, then push the dial to enter the setting. Now, to choose Fahrenheit or Celsius, push and hold the setting dial for five seconds. F or C will blink. Release and turn the dial to F or C, then push the dial to select. The small dot along the bottom of the control indicates if the unit is in standby or calling for heat. If the dot is toward the left side, the unit is satisfied. If the dot is toward the right, it is calling for heat. Now, one thing to keep in mind when setting up a target temperature is that the sensor is in the bottom of the tank. This means the temperature of the water leaving the tank is not necessarily the same as the temperature at the sensor due to stacking, which occurs with all hot water storage tanks. We recommend starting with a low target temperature, around 90 degrees, and increasing the setting to the desired comfort level at the faucet. Another consideration to keep in mind is that we always strongly recommend using a mixing valve on the domestic hot water system. This will ensure excessive temperatures will not reach the faucets. Some local codes even require a mixing valve on domestic water systems. So, as you can see, the control is very simple to use and easy to understand. Now, we will take a look at the wiring options. The AccuTemp controller is different from mechanical aquastats of the past. It requires a power source rather than just two wires for a dry contact. Looking at the control, you can see there are terminals marked AC1 and AC2. This is where we connect our 24 volt power supply. AC1 is the low voltage common and AC2 is the low voltage hot. We can take power from the boiler or other low voltage sources, but the easiest way to power the unit is with an independent transformer. The control uses a very small amount of current, only about 2.4 VA. So, you could use a small 10 VA transformer to supply power to these terminals. 
Now, looking at the wiring diagram from the AccuTemp manual, you can see we have several options for wiring to different boiler models in our lineup. The one thing you'll see in common on all the diagrams is that AC1 is connected to an earth ground. It is very important to connect this ground to eliminate stray voltage. Here we have diagrams for our condensing residential units, residential cast iron boilers, and commercial condensing boilers. We can see here that we connect the sensor from the tank to the green terminals, attach the power supply to AC1 and AC2 along with the ground, and attach the output contacts to the zone or boiler controls domestic water input. The output contacts are isolated dry contacts that close when the control calls for heat. So, as you can see, this control is different from standard mechanical aquastats, but if you follow the manual, your installation will go smoothly. Well, thanks for watching and be sure to keep an eye out for new videos so we can help you keep your customers happy.